Hello, here we're gonna talk about another. <laughs> this should what should I say about that? Like uh, when we set up an environment, uh, it's better to know uh, the version and uh, the compatibility uh, because if you're using like a Tomcat five or six and you are trying to deploy a Jakarta servlet, it won't be successful, right? So. I create a table to help you to understand those. Okay. So let me move to one note. Uh, let's continue. Okay. But this time for the year, I cannot remember uh, clearly. Oh, let's, let me just use my blog because it's I don't need to draw again okay I created this today so for this tutorial um, all the notes or source code I'm gonna publish into this um, github repository nothing uh, credential right oh yeah nothing credential okay so the one I want to talk about is this one. Okay. <coughs> I don't I don't want to draw again. <laughs> and uh, I created this uh, table using these two link reference to links. Okay. Uh, first, I organize this table start from Java Server 2.5 because the older version probably used you probably now when we learn uh, servlet you will never be never use okay so I didn't uh, put um, others here just from the Java servlet 2.5 and uh, Java servlet 2.5 mm, here from the Wik Wik uh, Wikipedia it is a support annotations um, Based on my experience, I never used annotations from Java Servlet 2.5. So here I add a to-do list, like I have to test. Uh, uh, today I don't have time, but uh, definitely start from 3.0. It is starting support uh, the annotations, which means you can using annotations to configure the servlets, which URL map to which servlet, right? which will start from this version, okay? And you can deploy on Tomcat 7. And uh, start from this version, it will support for uh, like uh, using annotations, and which means it's not required to have web.xml uh, in our application. Um, <clears throat> uh, talking about XML, you can see in another video, okay? I have uh, another blog uh, video talking about that. And uh, uh, Java Server 3.1, and here, uh, if you want to use this one, it will, you have to using the uh, Tomcat version is 8.0 or 8.5, it will support for that. And there's a big change in Java 7 is non-blocking I.O. Uh, previously, uh, when we build Tomcat, we have to using uh, the container, we have to using the like a multi-threaded version, but with a non-blocking I/O, we can using the uh, non-blocking like a single-thread version. Okay. Uh, later on, when I have time, I will teach you. We will like uh, create a simple. We will mimic a simple uh, web uh, container like a Tomcat, and uh, uh, I will using the socket to show you how to create a container like a, as a simple HTTP server or just a mimic uh, how Tomcat initialize a servlet sorry for this okay how Tomcat initialize a servlet and uh, call the service and do get a do post method like that anyway and Java 8 uh, G2EE8 and uh, here uh, servlet 4.0 this is the last version under the Java uh, trademark, okay, and there's a very very important change is HTTP two. Uh, it using the push. Uh, 
mechanism and the, the HTTP2 is already adapted in uh, Spring 5 definitely probably also from Spring 4 okay and if you want to using uh, the la uh, last version of the J2 Java E uh, servlet then you can using the uh, 9 Tomcat version is a 9 I already tested this one okay it works okay and uh, uh, in September 2017 uh, Oracle decides to give the right away to um, Eclipse Foundation for the Java E enterprise specification okay but uh, at that time it doesn't do anything uh, until 2019 it decided to rename to Java trademark I read I downloaded the, the uh, Jakarta server for uh, for the specification you can download also you download the uh, I checked the PDF version and the HTML version uh, both of them are empty you will see some like content but they are not related to the specification but definitely this year um, which is Jakarta EE9 and the server letter is the 5 which is a version I used for the tutorial and uh, this version definitely has the um, specification the the changes I see so far I didn't uh, read all of them okay the changes I see so far is just uh, move java server 4.0 just move the package from uh, java servlet uh, java x servlet to jakarta servlet that's the thing but uh, in tomcat there are still two uh, didn't move one is the transaction the other one is xml you can download the source code and to see okay and uh, for jakarta servlet if you want to deploy on Tomcat, you must using Tomcat version is a 10. I tried to uh, uh, I tried to deploy on the 9, doesn't it work? I also tried which is uh, uh, deploy Java servlet okay 4.0 to Tomcat 10. Did I test this one? Anyway, uh, doesn't it work? Uh, doesn't it work I, I think I tried I couldn't remember now okay but anyway use uh, uh, if you want using Jakarta servlet 5 uh, deploy on 10 and if you want using Java servlet deploy it on the 9 so everything will be fine okay so that's it for this video and if you want to take a look at more you can come to this URL I will put in my um, YouTube video description okay Thank you. Bye-bye.